How to make WhatsApp business account step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking in great detail and depth about WhatsApp business and how you're going to be creating an account for it in the easiest, most simplest way. So let's get straight into this video. Now, to start things off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to come over to our Google Chrome or browser, okay? Or you can use your phone in this case, you know, whatever you want. I'm showing on the browser, you're going to come to WhatsApp business, okay? So you're just going to write WhatsApp business. You're going to go to their website called business.whatsapp.com, okay? Now, once you're over here, they're going to tell you a lot of things like transform your business, engage audiences, accelerate sales, drive better customer support outcomes on the platform with more than 2 billion users around the world. So a lot of things are shared over here. WhatsApp business products support businesses from large to small, see which product best fits your needs, etc., etc. Now, WhatsApp business is more on the business side where you can uh, message and you can set up an actual business for yourself. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people have those business accounts on WhatsApp, you know, they say business under the contact. So you make that through WhatsApp business and WhatsApp business is a very good thing to choose as your product to actually keep as your business because you could do a good affiliation on it. You could do good marketing on it. You could actually set up links on it, hyperlinks on it. You could set up meetings on it and stuff like WhatsApp business is really good for your businesses. So. What we're going to do to get into the product section is obviously you can research the products and all, uh, but you know, you can also just click on get started. Now, once you click on get started and you want to actually transform your business, what you're going to do is you're going to fill this form below to talk to sales, you know, because not everyone can go ahead and sign up with their WhatsApp business account really simply. So you're going to need to come here and uh, you're going to sign up this form. And in this form, obviously you're going to need to add the details for WhatsApp business uh, and like you're going to add your personal details and any information that they ask of you, basically. So as you can see, first of all, they ask the basic stuff, your uh, full name, which is your first name, last name, then your work email, your job role. Like, what do you do in your business? You could be a developer, customer service, business development, executive marketing or any other. If you're in any other, you could describe your role. Uh, but yeah. Then you're going to add in your company name. Where is your business headquartered at? You know, because they really want to verify that your business is an actual thing. Like they don't want to go with some scam because WhatsApp business is obviously a very different prestigious. It's basically a much more respected and prestigious space on WhatsApp. So obviously they don't give it to everyone. They give it to actual verified businesses. Now, basically from here, you can see, are you looking to use the API to send WhatsApp messages for your business or your client's business? So obviously, if you're creating it for a client, and let's say if you're a messaging platform, you could use this. But if it's your own business, just choose my business, basically. Okay, and then finally, how many employees does your business have? This is compulsory, because according to this, they give you like, you know, a space in your WhatsApp. So you're going to click on agree, you're going to click on submit. And then obviously, Meta will handle all the verification. And if you get verified properly, Meta will obviously let you know on Gmail that your account has been created on WhatsApp. It's going to give you these certain keys and yeah, everything is going to be set and good to go. Now, moving on, the more you can do is uh, you can basically go ahead and uh, go to, let's say I'm going to go to products and in the product section, you can see the different types of features and apps they give you. So first of all, there's the business platform and then there's the business app. Okay. So the business app is obviously the application that you download from your app store, or Google Play Store. Okay, engage your customers anywhere, build strong customer relationships, increase efficiency and showcase your products and services with tools designed to help you grow your business. Okay, this is the app and you can use this conveniently like the app is much more easier to get in basically than the actual you could say uh, business bit. Okay, so that's the app. But if we were to talk about the business platform, the business platform is basically an integration of the WhatsApp API that you can integrate with all your business use cases. OK, and the, it has different use cases. It gives you your API to deliver compelling experiences connected to whatever store, whatever business or whatever uh, medium you have of communication. This says put messaging to work for your business, reach customers almost anywhere. Make it easy for people to connect with your business by meeting them where they already are on WhatsApp. Obviously, WhatsApp is probably one of the most used, you could say, uh, messaging platforms out there. And 
Same goes with things like, uh, you know, uh, you have your messenger and stuff. But WhatsApp is obviously the most popular. And it says connect through conversations, drive marketing, sales and support outcomes with two-way conversations that engage across the customer journey, create memorable experiences, leverage the API to deliver compelling conversational flows with interactive CDAs, dynamic product lists, rich media, and much more. Okay. So obviously these are things that obviously create an experience for you. Discover common WhatsApp business platform use cases that help drive customer and business growth. You can share important updates with your customers by sending order confirmations, shipping updates, because that's a very good use case because uh, there's sometimes automations. Okay. People usually use automations to send order, order confirmations, but you know, not a lot of people actually prefer that. So, because obviously you have to pay for automation. So you can just use WhatsApp to share appointment availability, send confirmations and stuff. Then you can make promotions feel more personal. So you can drive upsell and cross sell opportunities, re-engage your card abandonment, and maximize the ROI of your marketing spend with hyper relevant promotions. And there's a whole lot more. It goes through commerce, customer care, verification, custom flows, and a whole lot more. So obviously these are all the features that WhatsApp business provides you. And it's an absolute game changer when it comes to using this. And it has uh, a little pricing on its head. Obviously, you're going to need to contact sales. It depends. The reason you need to contact sales is because the pricing of the whole WhatsApp business gig depends on the type of, um, you know, requirements you want. So, yeah, that's why you contact the sales team, because they tell you how much pricing is going to generate for you. But yeah, overall, the WhatsApp business platform allows medium and large businesses to communicate with their customers at a huge scale. And, you know, you can use their APIs. Businesses can connect thousands of agents with them. And additionally, the APIs can be integrated with numerous backend systems such as CRMs and marketing platforms. So you can have, you know, the business platform cloud API, on-premises API, management API, and it has great business assets as well, like display names, meta business manager, phone number, business account, user opt-in, and a whole lot more. So it has a real good, you could say, uh, overview. And you can obviously, once you get in, the dashboard of WhatsApp business can obviously be accessed through your meta business account. So yeah, basically that is your meta business and that is how you're going to use it in the easiest and most simplest way possible. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I will be making a whole lot more for you. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I will see all of you next time. Goodbye.